today we are learning physics. I am Julie Ann and let's see what we are going to learn in the session for the day. In this beautiful world, there are a lot of interesting events that take place. We see or do or experience these events almost regularly. At some point in time, your curiosity would have definitely got the better of you and you would have asked yourself questions like, what's going on? How does that happen? The answer to all these questions is physics. Let's see what the actual definition of physics is. It comes from the Greek word physis, meaning nature, and physique, meaning knowledge of nature. Hence, physics is simply the study of nature and the universe. We start our day with the annoying sound of an alarm. This sound is physics. We have a cup of tea, coffee or Milo in the morning. Don't we all love it? To make it, we boil water. The heat involved in the process is physics. To understand the events that you see, you have to first understand the events that you don't see. Confused? Don't worry. All I mean is you need to see events that are the underlying cause for other events to happen. What do we do to open or close a door? We use force. This door is too heavy to push, so I need more force. So you see, force is something we use in our daily tasks. We all know the rainbow has seven colors, right? But did you know why a rainbow appears after a bit of rain and why it has colors? This is a property of white light. Rainbows are formed by splitting of sunlight, which is white light, through the raindrops. Physics again. Now, why does the rainbow specifically have only seven colors? Because these seven colors merge to become white light, or in other terms, the white light splits to form the seven colors. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Ever thought about why the balloons float in the sky and clouds fall? The answer is very simple. Our Earth has a kind of pool that draws every object to its surface. This pool is called gravity. This keeps every object grounded to the surface of the earth and prevents them from floating away. Hello learners, I'm back. Now that we have understood that physics is behind nearly everything that we experience in our lives, it is time to delve into some of the basic principles of this incredible field of study, starting with the three laws of motion discovered by Sir Isaac Newton, one of the greatest minds to ever walk the planet. Now, the story goes that he was sitting under a tree when an apple fell right on his head. Well, that wasn't really planned, but since I'm in the pool, let's talk about the different forces that came into action which caused me to fall into this pool. Well, from the top of my head, I can think of gravity. Uh, ow. Well, the first law of motion, which was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton, and lastly, the Archimedes principle, which allowed me to float instead of sinking in this wonderful pool. Thank you. 